Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm today announcing that I'm starting Introduction to Beading series. I wished in the beginning when I didn't know anything about beading, somebody had told me in a nutshell what is it about all those uh, seed bead sizes, all those threads and everything that confused me in the beginning. So now this tutorial will be the first one of this series that I will usually post like a bonus tutorials in Thursday. As you know, I post in Tuesday and Saturday, but this will be a bonus tutorials in Thursday where I will explain the basics of beading. First, I want to say that beading is a worldwide spread craft. You have it in Native Americans, in Mexicans, in China, in Japan, in Czech Republic and in Romania and so on and so on. If I forget something, uh, write down there in the comments where else you could find beading as a traditional craft. I uh, started learning about beading in 2004 when I was in Romania learning the language and the culture and uh, I joined an atelier for traditional craft called beading and uh, here is an example of a hat that is made with this traditional craft from Romanian artist and I also have a tutorial with my first bracelet that I learned how to do back in 2004 when I was in Romania. Okay so now this tutorial will be focused on the different brands and different sizes of beads. That is why first in the beginning I want to mention that there are, there are three major brands. Mayuki and Toho which are Japanese brands and Preciosa which is a Czech brand. In my tutorials I mainly use Preciosa but also a lot of Delica beads which are from the Mayuki brand. First I want to say a few words about the sizes and I will show you a table. Okay guys and now what you see on your screen is a chart of the seed bead sizes, the Czech glass round seed bead sizes. There are similar tables for the other manufacturer that are really close to this one and uh, here uh, with the red line are underscored the beads that I use in my tutorials and that are most commonly used out there for most of the tutorial you will see uh, on YouTube let's say and the first size is 15.0 this is 1.5 millimeters in diameter and here is the tolerance and the hole is 0 0.40 millimeters then it comes the 11.0 size which is the most commonly used one and this is with tolerance from 2 to 2.2 millimeters and the hole is 0 0.70 millimeters then it comes 10-0 that could be used uh, instead of 11-0, they are really close and they have a tolerance between 2.2 and 2.4 millimeters. So you see these sizes coincide. So sometimes I use them interchangeably and here uh, the hole is 0 0.80 millimeters. This is size 8-0 and this is its tolerance from 2.8 to 3.2 millimeters and 0 0.90 millimeters is the hole and then it comes the 6.0 which average is 4.8 millimeters 4.1 millimeters sorry and uh, the hole is 1.10 millimeters okay so maybe you've noticed that the bigger the, this number is uh, the smaller the bead size is. This was something that confused me in the beginning and I couldn't understand why is it like this in most of the tutorials I see and I couldn't figure it out. Nobody told me what is it about. And now guys, uh, since I told you the numbers, I want to show you the real thing. Okay, and now here guys, uh, I want to tell you that here I don't have Toho beads. I have only Mayuki and Precioso beads. And uh, for the Toho beads, I will show you some pictures. It's a shame that I don't have Toho beads, I know. Now I will tell you 
the difference, okay? The beads that are up to here are all from the Mayuki brand and from here up to here are the Preciosa. Okay, so now I want to pick up on my needle some of the Mayuki beads and show you. These are regular Mayuki beads. These are size 15O and this is a size 11O. You see how they look? And now I'm going to pick up a Preciosa bead of the same size. So these here are 11 O's. You see, they look really similar, only the Preciosa is just a slightly more rounded around the edges compared to the Mayuki. And if I had Toho here, uh, it would be uh, with more square shape and a slightly larger hole. Although the sizes are almost the same, there are slight difference and in some patterns you can't use them interchangeably. Sometimes you can, but not always. So uh, be careful about this. And the next beads I want to show you are the Delica beads. Again, from this Mayuki brand. And if you know where to buy Delica beads, I have a link down there in description uh, to see. Okay. I like them so much, they are with sharp edges and they are like small cylinders and absolutely the same. They look absolutely the same and they are cool if you make brick stitch. If you are not familiar with this, I have a lot of tutorials and you could learn these stitches. Okay, so uh, the next is 11 o size of this beautiful preciosa beads you see how rounded they are the main difference between the czech and the japanese beads are how much smooth and round the edges are okay so now i will pick up beads from the next size just to show you how slightly different are the beads from 11 and 10 size and then it comes the 8 where you see how bigger they are but again really rounded and smooth around the edges okay and then i will pick up the last size which is the 6 so and you see the size difference here okay not only on chart but now you could imagine this Okay, that was all from me in this tutorial. If you like it, subscribe for more information. I have a beginner's playlist that you could see. I also have a tutorial for beginners in bezeling that I will also link here. And if you want to know the difference in more details between Japanese and Czech beads, you could see down there two tutorials that I shared. Uh, to look at them in more details. In the next tutorials I will show you different type of beads with two holes or like long cylinders and other beads that are commonly used but not so much as the seed beads. And then I will show you the threads, the different type of threads. Then I will show you the different type of instruments. In the beginning I started with uneven beads and regular needle, so don't worry about this if you're just starting. Just find tutorials that you could do with what your resources you have and slowly and gradually build with the next type of supplies you buy. So if you have any questions, ask me anything down there in the comments and tell me if you like this beading series. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm showing you here, subscribe. Down there in description, you will find a link to my second channel with the fast clips, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my other tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.